In my previous video, I talked about my plans to build a CPU entirely in Desmos graphing calculator. In the same video, I also made a simple 4-bit adder as a proof of concept. However, since the last video on this topic, I have decided to completely change how the ALU shall work. So let's dive into that. Firstly, one comment on my last video highlighted to me that I probably wasted my time by constructing each logic gate separately. So, I will now be using normal decimal equations from now on. I will also be using equations that can do any operations at once. I will also be using different operations. There will be addition, as before, and the bitwise AND, or AND X or operations. Note that I am removing subtraction, as I believe that there will still be ways to subtract using software, when, and if I come round to that. But now that I've explained the what, I shall now explain the how. For the ALU, it will have four inputs. These are the two number inputs, the operation selector and the carry input. There will also be three outputs, such being the number output, the carry output and the zero flag. I plan to have the carry input and output linked, but for now, they have to be inputted separately. I will revisit this. The way addition works is straightforward enough that it is not worth me showing you the equation. The link to the graph is in the description. I will then split the inputs bitwise using an efficient equation that allows me to only use one to cover all. I use one of such equation for each input. I will then plug each of these deconstructed inputs into each respective logic gate. I will then pull all the operations back together using a check that only outputs the needed operation. Please note that the carry output will only activate with the add function and the carry input will only be used by the add function. Finally, the output and flags will be set and displayed. So now that I've got the ALU explained, I shall now give you a demonstration of it in action. Here I am in Desmos, and as you can see on the left, the inputs and outputs previously stated are here. I probably should have added a better output screen, but I couldn't be bothered. I'll make a display in a later video, but I will start by doing a simple 5 plus 5 equation. As you can see here, that went successfully, and we got an output of 10. Now, let's try 108 plus 213. It should say 321, but that will overflow. As you can see, we got 65, but the carry flag is enabled. The carry flag represents 256, and 256 plus 65 is 321. Now let's try using the bitwise functions. Using Google, we can see that bitwise and of 108 and 213 is 68. As we can see, this is what is outputted. The bitwise, or of the same numbers, is 253. And as we can see, the ALU is correct. The bitwise X, or of these numbers, is 185. And as we can see, this is correct. Finally, 136 plus 120 equals 256. But see how the zero flag is triggered. That is because the output is zero. So that ends the demonstration. That concludes this part of the documentation of my process of making a CPU entirely in Desmos graphing calculator. As mentioned earlier, the link to the graph is in the description of this video. I apologize for the wait since the last video. I had a few things happen in that time, but I promise that the next video won't take 8 months. In the next video, I shall explain my process in making an example 16-byte RAM bank. I shall see you in the next video.